Welcome back to NSTV Travel Blog. And today, we're here at the airport and we're flying back to Cebu. That's right, Bob. We're flying back to Cebu, but not to tour the islands like we used to. But this time, we have been invited by Go Negosyo to attend the Tourism Summit 2023. Yes, but we don't know what's in store for us when we are to Cebu. But we're still excited to find out what the activities are for tomorrow. But definitely, we're going to be part of the summit. I know. So if you're ready, let's go. Let's go to Cebu. After a good next week, and uh, we're here at SMC side, Cebu City. That's right, and we're here at the Tourism Summit 2023 of Go Negoso. So we're excited, no? We just got here. We don't really know what the program is, but we were told there are going to be a lot of speakers and there are going to be a lot of activities in store. And daming tao bab na gula tao. Yeah, para ang dagdag sa mga vlogger, mga vlogger na. Uh, mga tour blogger. Yeah, mga travel blogger. Travel blogger. Oh, yeah. All sorts of travel bloggers. So we'll mingle with them, we'll talk to some of them, and hopefully we get to talk to the organizers also. Yeah, so. Let's na. na. check out the Tourism Summit. Oh, go negotiate.
Hey, anyway, we're with uh, Mr. Joey Concepcion, the founder of Go Negosyo. Sir, thank you for letting us, uh, you know, sparing some time for us, uh, and of course, inviting us here. But we'd like to find out, what is the thrust or the objective of Go Negosyo? Well, uh, you know, it's basically, uh, I've been at this for 17 years. Wow. And uh, looking at where the Philippines has been in the last so many years, uh, our push towards poverty alleviation has been quite slow. And my thinking is that the government really cannot do it alone. So that's why it's very important for the private sector, especially for the companies you know, or the entrepreneurs who have done well, that they should pay back. And why pay back? Just imagine if we are able to make all of these people wealthier. We will all benefit. That's true. Even those up there, large companies, will benefit. So the message is that for the country to become more inclusive, the successful companies have to help them. And so we're not riding the ship by ourselves. Right. We're bringing everybody along that. So that's, that's the basic principle of uh, why I think we, we are doing this. It's really in the end, we go to church. We pray and we all do that. But in the end, I mean, nothing will happen if it's just only prayers. No? I mean, the, to me, the real work is in the deed of helping others. That's true. That's true. So, and that is when a life, you can change people's life. And, you know, I don't think I would have been at this for 17 years if I didn't find any fulfillment. Oh, that's, that's really nice to know. And I, I guess you saw naman the, the partnership becoming more cohesive between government and the private sector. No, I guess it's, it has improved. Um, Segue naman po tayo, why, why Tourism Summit? I believe this is the second yeah. one, if I'm not mistaken. We had a Tourism Summit uh, way back then. But now, well, I, I see the greatest opportunity Especially when I went to Bali, mm. how can Bali, with having the ugliest beaches, <laughs> honestly speaking, I love going to Bali and I'm going flying there tomorrow because of the ASEAN. But I like going there not because of the beach, it's because of the vibe. So we have the beach, we have Filipinos that smile a lot and very hospitable. But we have to improve the vibe. Okay. And, okay. and I think we have, I mean, just around this place, I mean, you've got Bohol on the next door. You've got Sikihor, which is yeah. untapped. Beautiful. I mean, and then you still have Malapascua, Bantayan, and Kalangamayan, and then Romblon, and then Shergao. Then down there, you have Puerto Galera. Yeah. And yeah. so many. And they're all white beaches with the best diving spots. So we have every asset but that vibe. That's true. I think Shargao is one place I was able to successfully create that vibe. No? Na, I, for one, I'm Dalasco Shargao. I fell in love with the place, the people, the community. It's, it's very different. You'd want to go back multiple times. In fact, a lot have decided to to stay to and stay not there. leave at all. My right? sister. <laughs> oh, but then she went, she went back for a while. Exactly. Pero sir, yeah. So this is an annual thing. Yeah, the tourism oh. summit is more or less an annual thing because we have other events. And uh, it's all, it's really a rallying point to galvanize and create more awareness. And another big differentiator are people like you, you know, content creators, influencers. That was never there back then. Yeah. Now, if we can encourage more, people to be content creators, influencers, uh, then we have a chance because you will be promoting the country. And I've seen it. No? In many of our events for helping MSMEs, 
social media is now creating greater impact. It's nice to know this is an annual an, uh, annual event, and we would like to thank you for including and and giving importance to the relevance and the influence of content creators also. Uh, so very grateful for that. But what other activities and events does Gonegosho have? So our subscribers can know and if they want to check out and join. Well, we have the next one that is being planned is the digital event, the digital summit. Okay. So that's one big one that's being planned. Towards the end of the year, we have the Kabayan, which is all meant for our OFWs. Okay. Normally, the president attends that event. And uh, we are also going to have an Agri Summit. Agri? Yeah, an Agri Summit, which is all more or less done once every year. And why that? Because bulk of our MSMEs are in Agri. Uh, thank you for your time, but I'm sure a lot of our subscribers are more are getting interested about Gonegosho. Some may want to check out your events, some may even want to volunteer. Um, you have social media or contact numbers that you know, they can uh, check out if they want to reach you. We're frequently in the newspaper. Okay. Almost every day you will see a, uh, an ad of an event. That social media, this event was just prepared about a month ago. Oh, wow. So we're able to, yeah, I was surprised at the level of attendance. Yeah, I thought Sibuanas on a Saturday well, will be out in the beach, <laughs> not coming here. <laughs> I was worried that people said, no, I'd rather be in the beach. I would rather be in the beach, actually. <laughs> okay. But you can see, they're here. But those of you who are big in social media, I do know they have their Facebook and their Instagram accounts. And we'll make sure all the other contact details of Gonegosho will be put in the description box below. So again, thank you to the founder you, of Gonegosho. It's been a pleasure, Mr. Joey Consoch. And it's nice of you guys to be here. Our honor, our pleasure. Thank you. I was telling uh, Christina, uh, Secretary Christina, that use all of these content creators in plenty. Ah. They are going to replace the Agamula and the Willy Rebilliame. This is Bobby Pala, Hi, Bobby. my, my, uh, my co-vlogger here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. to our next panel discussion and this is again gonna be an inspiring one are you ready to listen to mga iba't ibang kwento the sun on my side today nothing can stop me shining feeling lucky in a big way soaking up every from nstv travel blog he is the content creator as well please help us welcome kirby arabello Wow, the Philippines is so lucky to have ambassadors like you guys, you know, showing off the culture and all of the beautiful things that they can come and see for themselves. Well, in our case, we were one of the thousands of people who actually started travel blogs or blogs in general during the pandemic. Uh, even before then, me and my friend Bobby, my co-vlogger, Bobby's here, by the way. He's here somewhere. Oh, there you are. We really love traveling. Almost every weekend we'd be out somewhere. But during the pandemic, we realized it's not bad because all the other provinces were at a standstill because of the lockdowns, right? So a lot of uh, companies had to shut down, hotels, resorts, even small businesses. So during the pandemic, we thought of vlogging to show people that you can actually still travel around the Philippines enjoy the many beautiful spots but just traveling safely by using the by practicing the protocols but now that we're kind of we are officially out of the pandemic it's about featuring uh you know other destinations other than the usual barangays because our country has so many islands so many destinations worth visiting we want to as much as possible promote small and local businesses. The, the involvement and proactivity of the local government unit, specifically the tourism office, can still be improved. So, who's there? Who's there that's real from the Philippines? It's me, sir. 
My culture is this. I will treat you this way. We are friends. Come to me. Give us your tourism money. Let us progress our economy. See these faces? Passion all around. Passion in their videos. Passion! Okay, thank you. I'm a hardcore fan. Like when I, when I plan, when I drop, I'm a hardcore fan. But there was a time where there was a change of plans. So it's like I had to think of what do we do on the spot. And that was probably the best part of the trip. It was like the unplanned part of the trip. Where it's like, you just, okay, where, where should we go today? Something like that. So, I, I would say that. Tourism, domestically, from Filipinos going there now from Manila, from Cebu, from Zamoka, is empowering the locals, driving development, and making the place safer and more fun to travel. Please give it up for our panel, everyone. Both are here for Pops Julie and Jessica, Kirby and Kuna. Good, 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 good questions. Good panel, Galeng. So proud to be among those people. Really, really good content creators, not just bloggers. Hello, time to pack up. Head back to Manila. Surprise, guys! This is amazing, Betong Sumaya. At ako yung naglalambing sa inyo. Please click and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Dapat all po ah sa NSTV Vlog. Guys, nako, grabe, inilibot na kayo sa lahat ng mga pwede niyo i-travel at agang lahat kayo ay mag enjoy At pag nag-enjoy kayo, aba, masasabi niyo palagi ay amazing. Hey to everybody, NSTV Travel Vlog. We're gone an hour out. Pass you up for more, rock on, and uh, see you soon. Ed. Hey, how's it going? Boga the Explorer here, just dropping in to say, please do subscribe to NSTV by Suyax Kaayo. And that wraps up our day here in Go Negocio Tourism Summit 2023. That's right. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that we actually decided to come here. No, and thank you, Go Negocio for inviting us Thank over you. and of course giving us a recognition no ang saya ang daming tao uh, yeah. glad we made it we made a lot of friends mga vloggers na soon sana mga makakolab namin and uh makasama oh nga we were able to share a lot of experiences with these people no and hopefully nga, in the future we'll be able to work and collaborate with them um, so again, we want to thank Go Negosyo, especially the founder, Mr. Joey Concepcion. Joey Concepcion. For giving us time. And of course, the staff, we can't name you all, but particular mention to Tony and to Shin for helping us out throughout the day. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. That's right. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll get informed if we upload new vlogs. And don't forget, if you have any recommendations or suggestions on where we should go next, please don't forget to put it in the comment section below. And with that, I'm Bobby. And I'm Herbie. Of NSTV, NSTV Travel Vlog. See you at the next stop. This isn't our usual vlog, but we decided to share the experience with you. To all our subscribers and viewers, thank you. See you at the next stop. side